I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, live in St. Louis, where both campaigns hope that tonight's event will bring them straight to the White House. UPS found they are losing time and money by waiting at left-hand turn signals. Now they're moving in the right direction by changing up all their routes to only include right-hand turns. The only complaint that I did hear tonight is that some of the candidates spent too much time kind of dancing around the issues. There weren't enough hard facts presented. Inside it looks like this, abandoned cars with shards of metal and broken glass. We're live at the Tiger Hotel right now and things for Judy Baker are going to heat up. He is the fourth suspect arrested. In this case, one man is still at large. Angie, we've been hearing a lot about what politicians are doing to appeal to swing states like Missouri. Here's one way to combat high gas prices. This truck runs off of batteries, 10 of them, and will get you about 60 miles. Over 200 crimes. That includes armed assault, burglaries, even a murder, all since January. In the Bearfield area, made up of Southfield and South Ridge subdivisions, residents now are fighting back. In June 2007, armed robbers kicked their way into this home, leaving a father with minor head injuries and his family robbed of money and other belongings. Lola Hayes remembers the incident well. It happened just one block from her home. And since then, her neighbors have purchased a gun and a security alert system. I guess it's all kinds of ways you could protect yourself. But uh, sometimes that's not good enough either. Hayes uses a more low-tech system. She puts baby powder on her doorstep and around her windows. She says this way she knows who's been on her property. Someone came onto her property last summer, jumped onto this truck, and hopped onto Hayes' roof. And that was the first time I ever had to call some cops. Now she sleeps with the telephone adjacent to her pillow. Hayes has spent the last nine years living in this house without fear, but like many of her neighbors, she wants to know why in the last 24 months, crime has gotten so bad. 158, that's the number of reported burglaries in the last two years, a 52% increase. 10 drug arrests have been made in the last 10 months, and police say it could be a reflection of the economy. People are getting desperate. So they're going to commit uh, property crimes, larcenies, and burglaries. But the increase in crime is worse in this neighborhood than in most. It's, it's getting ridiculous. Matthew Hina places much of the blame on out-of-town property management companies, like the one he rented from last year. This is the house Hina lived in. He originally signed a lease with the local realtor. But before he even moved into the duplex, he received this letter stating his new landlord would be located 100 miles away in Blue Springs. He says the company rarely made repairs to his unit and after a neighbor's was broken into, a broken window went unfixed for months. When we contacted the owner of the management company, he said he hasn't noticed any crime in the neighborhood. But the crime has encouraged the South Ridge Area Neighborhood Association to reestablish their community watch program. At the most recent neighborhood watch meeting, more than 50 residents showed up, and the president says that's more than triple the average number. People want to get involved to make sure the neighborhood stays as safe as possible. Others are simply leaving the area. Hina moved to the other side of town this fall, and after a decade living in the neighborhood, oh, Hayes has her home on the market. Do you want to see where the crimes are at? We've got it all mapped out, street by street. Bearfield residents ought to look for their streets. Check it out, KOMU.com. Tomorrow night, the investigation continues, both ours and the cops. We'll look at how the neighborhood got to be this way and what the cops have to say about it. Join us tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Rolling in profits during a time when other small businesses everywhere are plummeting? It sounds crazy. They call them cheetahs, businesses that actually thrive during tough economic times. Small businesses, entrepreneurs, that's the future of our economy. Eddie and Rosetta Summers know a lot about the material under your feet, but that doesn't mean they'll walk all over you. We just love to see uh, the customers get excited. After 35 years, their business is going up and up and they have bigger goals under wraps. Increase our sales like maybe 15% this year, maybe 20, hopefully. They own one of more than 6,000 businesses being recognized in the state for creating new jobs and increasing profits. The state hopes to use $2 million for startup business loans. The Summers have their own advice. Don't wait for the business to walk in the door. There's business out there. Because in tough times, you've got to impress to sell.
The Summers wanted their customers to feel at home in the store, so they built a full-scale bar where clients can sit down and even enjoy a glass of wine. So with a granddaughter and possible future business owner in between them, there's no time to relax. The Summers are already back to work. Sarah Hollenbeck, KOMU 8 News, Jefferson City. Good job, man. Firefighter Danny Spry knows just how tough putting out fires can be. Good job. All right. He's a second generation flame battler and says growing up, there's nothing he wanted more. That's why I wanted to be involved. That's how I wanted to raise my family. And now he's trying to spread his dream to others. You've heard of the Jaws of Life? Yeah. Well, we have what's called a cutting tool where we can spread doors. So he helped set up a firefighters challenge where kids get to see if they have what it takes. Suiting up in 70 pound uniforms. Crawling through tight, dark spaces. Got aim for the target. Spraying water at high pressure towards targets. Even dragging life-size dummies. Youth who are interested in this profession can begin starting at age 14 with the Explorer program. But before they go out, they have to learn how to put on all of this equipment in under 60 seconds. We put one Explorer to the test. Mission complete. So are the kids interested? Just based on the last 20 minutes, I'd have to say that this would be a pretty cool job to have. It'd be pretty cool to try, yeah. This little guy says he's brave enough for the job. I'm not afraid of fire because, you know what, when we, when we lived down in Georgia, um, we had a fireplace and in the winter, we would start a fire and sit around it and eat like marshmallows or something. Spry's next right bowl. He wants to spray, don't you? Convincing his one-year-old he's ready too. Eventually, that is. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to pressure him by any means. But it's funny at his, you know, little get-togethers or Christmas or you know, aunts and uncles that give him little fire trucks or noisemakers. Ooh. You want to hold it? Sarah Hollenbeck, KOMU 8 News, Columbia.